Okay. Chapter 3, Section 3, Solving Inequalities Using Multiplication and Division. In Chapter 3, Section 2, we solved inequalities using addition and subtraction. Now we're going to solve inequalities using multiplication and division. Okay. The most important thing when solving inequalities using multiplication and division is that when you multiply or divide by a negative sign, you need to make sure and flip the direction of the sign. Okay, when you divide or multiply an inequality by a negative number, you must switch the direction of the inequality. Okay, and we're going to talk about that here in a second. For example, negative 4x is less than or equal to 3. How would I solve if this was an equation? I would divide both sides by what? Negative 4. As soon as you divide by a negative number, what do you need to make sure and do? Flip the direction of the sign. So now it's a less than or equal to, so I'm going to flip the direction and make it a greater than or equal to sign. So the negative fours are going to cancel out, and unless the x is greater than or equal to negative three fours. When I go to graph that, okay, when I go to graph that, I'm going to have, remember I just need to mark three things. I need to put a zero on there. And I need to do my negative three fours. It's going to be a solid dot or an open dot. So solid dot. And which way is the sign going? So now what? Right, so look at the direction of this sign. Tell me which way to go. Same thing here. Negative 2t is greater than negative 1.22. Which one does we divide this by a negative the whole fraction we negative? I divide both sides by negative 2. So when I divide by a negative, what do I have to remember to do? Bell should be reading in your head. What's the sign? Okay, and these are going to cancel unless it's 2. And 1.22 divided by negative 2. Well, I have a negative 1.22 divided by negative 2. The negative divided by negative always gives me what? Positive. Positive. And does anybody know what 1.22 divided by 2 is? It's 0.621. And then I graph that inequality. My variable is already on the left side, so I don't need to move my variable. Open dot on 0.61. Make sure you put your zero in there so I know where you're at on this line. Which way is my sign going? Or my line going? Left. To the left, because my inequality symbol is going to the left. So we're going this way. Open dot, going this way. Questions? Now I have division. How do you solve division? Multiply both sides by what? Negative 4.5. When I multiply both sides of the equation by a negative number, you're going to get a positive on this side, but what do I have to do when I multiply both sides of an inequality? Flip the sign. Okay, I'm doing a bunch of negatives so you guys don't forget. Okay. You might not always flip the sign, only when you multiply or divide by a negative. Okay. So these are going to cancel, and unless x is greater than positive 45. Graph your inequality. Here's 0, 45. Open dot or close dot. Open, and 0 going to the right. Okay, yes. Go for it. Now, your homework is going to be this, but you're going to have all day tomorrow to work on. Okay? This is your homework. You're going to have all period tomorrow to work on it. In class, I'll sit with you and help you out if you're, if you're struggling. Okay? But you're going to have all period tomorrow to work on it. Well, the only one we didn't talk about, which we need to talk about real quick because it is in your homework, is this one. If it's in words, the first thing you have to do is translate the words to an inequality. So, 
I look at the product of 8 and x is greater than 50. Well, what does product mean? Multiply. Multiply. Well, what am I multiplying? 8, 8 and x. So I have 8x is greater than 50. 50. How do I solve it? Divide by 8. Divide by 8. So do I need to put the sign for this yeah, one? Would well, you simplify oh. that? Yeah. How would I simplify that? Divide it by 2 would be 25 over 4. Very good. Divide by 2 would be 25. Divide by 2 is 4. Divide by 25 over 4. What's that? It's not negative. So you want it's not negative. If it was negative 8, we put the sign. Since it's a positive 8, we just leave it alone. Okay. So now, when I go to graph, my variable is already on the left. So I put 25 on the court. And does it even matter if I don't know exactly what that number is? No. No, because when I graph, I just know it's positive. And it goes to the right. And I open dot. Where do I know it? Okay. So once again, tomorrow we'll do this in class. Okay. Yep.